hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel today we bring to you updates from the alafin's palace oh well, there have been so many rights after the burial of the alafin la media dme and at the same time there have been several agitations there have been several controversies as to who is going to be the next alafin of oil and of course as expected it is going to take a while before the day to decide who the next alafin is well updates on the wives of the late alafi of oyo lamidi adeyemi they have been speculation as to what is going to happen to the wives right now they are still mourning their late husbands but at the same time people are asking what's going to happen to the wives there had been publications that oh it's okay since they are laughing is late each and every one of them could go to their various homes and remarry but they shouldn't marry any man from or your town well the archbishop ladi bulu has also given another angle on uh, what is going to happen to the wives of the alafi he stated that they are married to alafi of oyo and it remains so and they should bear in mind that alafi of oyo is not a person it is an institution so they are married to the institution not just the person so therefore the incumbent alafi of oyo is going to be inheriting those wives and taking care of them he disclosed this in an interview with the punch when he was asked several questions about the throne and he was close to the late alafi lamidi adeyemi they were friends three days after he was asked the question by the punch news asking that let's talk about the wives that oba adeyemi left behind what will be their fate archbishop bladibelu responded and said the new king will inherit them and that is the tradition but you know things are changing now once a woman is married to the alafin they are married forever to the alafin you know the circumstances of life are changing and we have to adjust to the changing trends they are married to alafin and alafin is not a person but an institution the new alafin will be responsible for their welfare because they are married to the institution not just the person and this was what he had to say about it he was further asked that if any of them decides to leave the palace to go and remarry will that be allowed he responded and said i don't have to elaborate on that all i can say is that they are married to a laughing and a laughing is not a person but an institution that is why the question of who they belong to after the death of the KBC who married them did not arise. They belong to the Alafi. But in the light of the prevailing circumstances, we will have to adjust. That is my response. This was Archbishop Ladi Bolu. He is the Archbishop Emeritus of the Methodist Church, Nigeria. Most revered Ayo Ladi Bolu who is from the Agunloye ruling house this ruling house is also part of the ruling house who is going to be running for the office of alafi of oyo and yes it has been quite controversial according to another ifa priest whose name is Ayemi Elebubon. He's an Ifa priest. In an exclusive interview with Premium Times on Monday, he spoke about the position of the Yoruba tradition regarding the faith of the late monarch wife. Mr. Elebubon, based in Oyo State, said the queens could either remarry after the late king's burial rites or remain in the palace where the new king would inherit them as wives. He said in his words, and I quote, at present there will be mourning the departure of their husband after the ceremonies of the rites of passage those who wish to stay back in the palace can stay the new oba will come and take care of them and those who wish to remarry can go and remarry the new monarch would inherit them as part of his inheritance to the throne he further explained that the wives of the Alafi could only remarry after fulfilling traditional sacred rites of atonement and disassociating themselves from the palace. They are not allowed to marry any member of the royal family or ruling branch. And this was what Ifa priest Ifa Yebi Elebubo had to say concerning the fate of the wife of the Alafi. He gave insights that the Ifa priest also said the traditional burial ceremony and rite of the late monarch have since commenced. It said, 
it is the third day already and every day comes with its traditional rites and ritual the ritual will last for three weeks or three months elaborable further explaining the roles of the king's wife played during the burial rite is an historian and said the oloris are supposed to be indoors away from the eyes of the people until the traditional burial rites are entirely over in his words after the rites and rituals are concluded, the queens will decide their faith, remarry or remain in the palace and become a bride to the new king. The new king comes from the various branches of the ruling houses. All the ruling houses are like one big family. So from the various branches of the ruling houses, they will select a new monarch, where the kingmaker and the infant priest would pick him give him some orientation and hand over the entire palace to him, including the wives of the previous king. According to the Ifad devotee, everything in the palace belongs to the king when he assumes the throne. The wives and properties are like, end quote. This was the explanation given by Fayemi Elebribon concerning the fate of the queens in the palace oh, this doesn't seem quite the situation as some of the queens are not in the palace some have been sent away by the king himself before his passing and some decided to leave on their own accord this is actually contrary to the news first published about the fates of the queens stating that they don't need to perform any ritual bat whatsoever and they are free to marry whoever they wish to marry the likes of queen omo and queen damilola have left the palace but after the passing of it's allah finlamidi at the year me queen damilola had come back to the palace to claim a rightful position this is not going as planned as it has become so messy she was disgraced out of the palace alongside her mother the initial reason why she first left the palace was because she flouted the palace rule and she was locked up in the prison of the palace as she explained that she was treated illy by the late alafi lamini and she had to leave because it was quite humiliating for her and that was not the life she bargained for and for queen badrat she left the palace on her own accord stating that the other wife saw the relationship she shares with the alafi and they got jealous found one way or the other to disrupt the relationship and said terrible things about her in fact weeks after she moved out of the palace was when rumors went around that the king himself sent her out because she was having an affair with the fujimistro king wasu ainde who is the mayegun of yoruba land they both came out to debunk the rumor made rounds on social media and several news well she also had amazing things to say about the late or balamidi at dme we pray that his gentle soul continue to rest in perfect peace. And as for the wives, their fate is still yet to be decided as these are just personal opinions here and there. Well, guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.